Hello, folks. Welcome to Ridgewalker Gaming. And today, we're going to play Geist for the GameCube. It came out in 2005. It was never released in Japan. Only in uh, America, Europe, and I believe Australia. What is Australia? Is that Europe? I mean, what is Australia? Oh, it's its own continent. That's right, yeah. How does a, a country become a continent? Either way. 2005. Originally, they were going to call the game Fear. Which, of course, is the title of another game. The, the game looks okay. It's not going to blow you away at any moment. I have the latest intel on the Vox mission. As you already know, Tom Bryson has been working undercover at a Vox weapons facility in a remote area of southern France. On the surface, it appears to be a normal lab site, but infrared telemetry suggests a massive underground complex. We have reason to believe that Vox is potentially developing a chemical or biological agent there. That's where you come in. About three days ago, we received a garbled communication from Bryson. We cleaned it up as best as we could, and were able to make out the word virus, and what sounds like the word demon. But the jury's still out on that one. Tom Bryson is a good man, and always spoke highly of you, John. I know we can do Demons. Typical infiltration mission. The first thing you might notice about this game when you're playing it We're live. is the controls kind of suck. The aiming. What's going on, Remy? It's it's not good. The C-Stick on the GameCube controller is perfectly suitable for aiming. It works just fine in other games. But in this one it's really sluggish, and I don't like it. Now you gotta put yourself back in 2005 when this game came out. And, uh, even then, this wasn't really anything too nice. Frame rate's terrible. You can drop down to about 8 frames a second right there. Clear. What the hell is going on? Don't shoot, don't shoot. All clear. A lot of people said this was, uh, it's about time. Nintendo's attempt to answer Halo. And, uh, Nintendo owns the franchise, but they really don't seem to have any plans. Look at that bro shake right there and the peace sign to end it. Wow. Yes, Remy. Okay. What's going on, Remy? Yeah, see, it's like, yeah, aiming is not very responsive. That's a good word for it. I was looking for the option uh, to not suck. And who, does anybody really play shooters inverted? If you do, you got problems. You're not flying a plane, you're a human. I don't pull my brain down to look up. Simple as that. Recognize. No sensitivity options. Another problem with the game. If there are sensitivity options, I can't find them. Raimi! Sir. Oh. 
All right, now right. which computer has the viral data? No. No. Some textures in this game look great. Some don't. Try this spot again. There we go. Okay. Now I'm trying to go into most of these games blind to get the true getting involved in the game experience. Click on the draw the uh, objective update. Uh oh. It is time to run. What's going on, Raimi? Need a gun. Do I? shoot your face off. How about that? And I can't even aim my feet, so what about that? Problem one adjusting from first person shooters of 2013 is uh, no aim down the side, of course, in this game. Gun models look pretty good. I thought that was an enemy. Sorry, teammate, dude. I mean, this game really it begins like it's going to be some sort of epic adventure, at least with the sound, but. The action just doesn't match it. Johnson, how's the door coming? Well, maybe not. Got it. It was awfully kind of that dude to not shoot my face off. Anyone's wondering, I'm capturing this on the Apage HD PVR Gaming Edition Plus, which makes it a plus. And I'm um, pretty pleased with the quality of the captures. I had to buy a special cable to 
Pull in composite. Also S video. There are some little features in this game that make you realize that Nintendo had a little hand in it, but overall it just didn't deliver. And it didn't come anywhere near the expectations that everyone had for Sir. it. The GameCube really needed a shooter. Raimi. Time Splitters, that's a great shooter. But I needed something else, something epic like this that well, I just never had. Cool part about this game, boss fights. Move forward. Field effects on that chain like there. Simple boss fight, but a lot of fun. Just dodging. Now I do admit that I kinda suck, but this is just goes on a little too long. I could mop or I could leave.
Yeah, guys, it's just a game that... You can see where its heart was at. It was really trying to be that... triple-A type shooter. Are you okay? But it just didn't have the numbers, and the reviews weren't good enough, and the sell. And they're not having online multiplayer. I mean, that's a huge deal. It's... It was starting to become a big issue around 2005, 2006, and Halo was something that offered that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. This is Geist, and if you enjoyed It's Really Cheap, I got this at a local game store for around four dollars. Everybody, have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it might be. I'll talk to you later on Ridgewalker Gaming.